Guilty. That is the plea of three of the six defendants arrested in a deadly shooting near Atlantic Station last November. 12 year old Zion Charles and 15 year old Cameron Jackson were both killed during the shooting that happened near the 17th Street Bridge. 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates joining us now. She was in court. So, Bo Beth, you spoke with their parents after. What are they saying tonight? That's right, Joe. I did speak to both parents of those victims and they had a similar message saying that this situation drastically changed the lives of all involved. But Cameron Jackson's mom took it a step further. She got on the stand and while looking into the eyes of that suspect who likely pulled the trigger, killing her son, she had a message of grace. Take a listen. And I forgive you. It was a heartful message for Demetrius Hill, one of the six people charged in connection with the shooting near Atlantic Station that claimed the life of 12 year old Zion Charles and 15 year old Cameron Jackson. You understand that you'd be entering a plea of guilty under counts one through six, which are violations of the Criminal Street Gang Act, each of which is punishable by up to 20 years, as well as two counts of the voluntary manslaughter which also is punishable by up to 20 years. Yes, sir. Hill's plea resulted in a 40 year sentence with him serving 30 years behind bars and the remaining on probation. Antonio Jackson and Tony Wilson also took plea deals Thursday for their role in the shooting. Jackson agreed to a 20 year sentence, 10 of which he'll serve behind bars for two counts of violating a street gang act. The other 10 will be on probation. Wilson also pled guilty to two counts of violating the street gang act, as well as two counts counts of voluntary manslaughter for a total sentence of 40 years, 20 of which he'll serve behind bars and the other 20 on probation. A lot of emotions. I don't know how to feel. One day I feel like I'm okay next day I'm not. Derricka Charles is the mother of Zion, one of the children killed when the shots rang out on the 17th Street Bridge as hundreds of children were kicked off Atlantic Station property for violating the city's curfew. They're all kids. Everybody took a loss. Even mine hit harder, but Everybody took a loss. Sentiments echoed by Cameron's mom, Tiffany Smith. When you sit in court and you see the age and you see they're just babies, it's hard. Antonio Jackson's mom came to me and said um, she was sorry for my loss and it, it really got me. Like, for all the moms, it's a loss. Now, one of the other suspects entered a guilty plea last month, and the two remaining suspects are also expected to enter a guilty plea. That's their court date is scheduled for December the 15th. Of course, we'll update you on what they actually do. Sending it back to you guys. So, Beth, an awful situation all around. Thank you.